It's supposed to take up to about two years. It includes a national security background check and an in-person interview in the region of the world where those displaced refugees live or are staying prior to coming into the United States. And often uh, the administration says that sometimes those interviews are getting waived. Hello, YouTube preppers. This is the comms prepper. We're out and about doing last minute chores, getting the kids to get ready to go back to school this Labor Day. But today I have a unique opportunity to do a joint video with Bob, K6 UDA, out in Sacramento, California. Right now Bob's putting together a piece of video to demonstrate the power and potential of ICOM's D-STAR digital radio network and D-STAR equipment. We're going to attempt to hold a QSO or communications from Northern Virginia, where I am here, all the way out to Sacramento, California, using VHF or very high frequency radio which is a line of sight mode to communicate across the country. Bob is equipped with an ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star mobile radio like you see here on my dashboard and of course I have the same radio here. My radio is monitoring a D-Star repeater in Alexandria, Virginia and Bob like I said is out in Sacramento, California and what Bob's going to do is reprogram his repeater system out there to access what they call a reflector that's connected to my repeater here. In the D-STAR system, repeaters are clustered together geographically on what they call reflectors, which is kind of like a conference call bridge. So if you hear some traffic on one repeater, that traffic goes out over the internet to all the other repeaters connected to that individual reflector. So what Bob's going to do is redirect his system out in California to my reflector, and we should be able to hold a QSO across the country in my case with only 50 watts mobile here in the truck while I'm out running errands and demonstrate the power of D-Star and ICOM's D-Star radio system. So we're going to stand by here for Bob's call. We're waiting for him to finish up his portion of his video and he'll give me a call and we'll hear him here on the radio. So we'll be right back. One, two, reflector 62, module C. That's the reflector I'm connected to, guys. 62 Charlie here in Alexandria, Virginia. We're standing by for Bob's call in Sacramento, California. So, what I've done here is I have made a change in my configuration. I'm using what's called a hotspot. I control the whole thing. It's done here on a Raspberry Pi. It's just basically a little board that sits on a Raspberry Pi. And I can control this thing. So, up here, I have my ID5100. And I'm going to make a call to a friend of mine out on the East Coast. And he runs another, uh, another YouTube channel called The Comms Prepper. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a call to him. K1DOS, K6UDA. K6UDA, this is K1DOS Mobile in Springfield, Virginia. I'll copy this station, over. Oh, you are 5'9", my friend. Real good copy. Uh, great signal. And I've got all your information coming here on my... Uh, on my ID-51, or the ID-5100. Roger that. I have the same operating conditions here. I'm running mobile in the pickup truck with the ID-5100, the ID-5100 Alpha into a Tram 1181 dual band antenna and I'm putting out the 50 watts that the radio gives. I am uh, I'm actually running the 5100 here locally in the shack right now uh, on 5 watts and I, uh, I'm running it into a, uh, into a little D-Star hotspot that I've uh, picked up and built and uh, so I'm controlling it and I can actually uh, just dial in whatever reflector I want to be on and operate there. 
Well, from Springfield, Virginia to Sacramento, California, we've definitely broken the myth that VHF operations is limited to line of sight communications only. Absolutely, it's uh, it's kind of good to uh, good to know that we can uh, we could do this uh, for extended periods as long as we've got internet. And even if you don't have internet in a specific location during a disaster or an emergency, you can still reach out of that area and get across the country or around the world. I think D-STARS is very cool. The K6 UDA, this is K1DOS. Hey Bob, can you tell me if you're still getting my APRS reporting information with my Latin longitude being mobile? Yeah, Roger that. I've uh, I've got the same thing. Just uh, just over 2,300 miles, and uh, as the crow flies, that is an incredible. Uh, that's an incredible thing on uh, on VHF UHF. Uh, do you have uh, access to the uh, interwebs there? Maybe you can check out the one of the APRS web pages and see if I'm popping up with uh, current information. I will uh, I'll pull that up, and I'm going to switch over here, and uh, and I'll be on a on an ID 51 in a second here. Uh, tell me if this one's giving the uh, my Latin long. Well, this is K1 DOS uh, standing by. I am getting your uh, text information. Now, what you guys probably can't see in the video is down here is scrolling text. So it's giving me Bob's call sign, his basic information, and if I were to hit a few buttons here, I could actually show you the uh, compass heading with his. We want DOS K6GA. I'll copy on uh, on an ID 51 now. Uh, K6 UDA. This is K1 DOS. I've got a perfect copy on you with the uh, 51 Alpha handheld. I got you. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here, and it shows you. Uh, it shows you mobile at 55 miles an hour or 55 kilometers per hour. Uh, somewhere, uh, and I don't know the area, but you're near Washington D.C. Well, that's affirmative. I'm uh, pretty much due south of Washington D.C. outside the Beltway. And I'm sure that speed is uh, appropriate for the speed limit on this road. <laughs> okay, I think a uh, real good copy. Uh, K1DOS, uh, K6EDA. Very nice, uh, very nice signal. Great to be able to, uh, to reach out across the country here and, uh, and talk even when propagation uh, sucks as bad as it does. Uh, D-STARS is an amazing system and it provides uh, long-range communication options for people who only have a technician class license. They can get their, uh, they can wet their whistle as they work on getting their general class license and uh, upgrade to the uh, HF bands for the more traditional long distance, but as they work towards that goal, you can still have long distance communications with VHF or UHF on D-STAR. Very cool stuff. That is a uh, that's a great way to, to get into it, and it it gets you out there beyond the local repeaters. Now I have some motivation to get the uh, radio up in the shack reprogrammed. Uh, I had to reset it and put that on the the back burner. I'm gonna have to move that up in the rotation to get that done this weekend. Deal, very very good. All right, Hank. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna jump out here and get back to uh, get back to making some videos. 
Uh, you have a good one. Enjoy your your drive home. I see you're uh, you're getting close now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to the home QTH. Uh, two more rights and a left, and I'll be there. All right, real good, real good. Hey, uh, Hank, uh, have a good one, 7-3, and, uh, and I'll talk to you again real soon uh, on D-Star. K1DOS, K6UDA. K6UDA, this is K1DOS. Well, you have a great weekend. What's left of it, Bob? Best 73s, and we'll definitely talk again here on the D-Star system. Bye, sir. All right, guys, there you have it. Bob, K6UDA, located in Sacramento, California, was able to reach out to me with a handheld radio to the east coast of the United States here in Virginia, and we were able to hold a very nice QSO, good audio quality, even while mobile, demonstrating the awesome power and potential of ICOM's D-STAR system and giving the ability for long-distance communications for those ham radio operators who only have a technician class license. You're not just limited to line of sight with the D-STAR system. You can really reach out some great distances, and this even works globally. All D-STAR repeater networks are connected to the Internet, so you can pull up any D-STAR repeater anywhere in the world with your D-STAR equipped radio. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a joint video with K6UDA Bob out in Sacramento, California in a joint video demonstrating the awesome power of the D-STAR system and the ability to talk long ranges with just VHF or UHF providing a long range option for those people who just have a technician class license in the amateur radio service. Thanks for watching guys.